Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the battery in any Audi or Volkswagen, and also how to coat it, which is extremely important. So we're gonna be replacing the battery on my 2018 Audi RS3. It has the original battery in it, but as you can see, there's no room for a battery in the front, so they were nice enough to move it all the way in the trunk of the car. So with the trunk open, you have to unclip and get everything out of the way. And then there's this really nice convenient hook here that you can see pops out, which allows you to just hang it on the back of your car if you have that. And now we have access to the battery. So like I said before, this is the original battery that came with this car. And being that this is a 2018 Audi RS3, that means this battery is approximately seven to seven and a half years old which is about like the end of the lifespan for an AGM battery. Now, some of you guys might be wondering how I know this battery is on its way out. And I'm gonna show you how I know with this device right here. But other ways you can tell your battery is dying is either A, using a battery tester, B, your car just doesn't start, or C, you still get 12 volts, but there's not enough amperage in the battery to actually turn the car over. So this is the Topped On BT100 battery tester, which I'll link down in the description below. And it's actually an extremely useful tool because it can help you tell when your battery's on its way before your battery actually dies on you and leaves you stranded or your car just won't turn on somewhere. So the way to use this is by simply connecting the positive to the positive over here, and then the negative to the negative over here, adjusting them a little bit until you start to see power going through the device. Now, as you can see with the battery tester loaded, I'm getting a reading of 12.14 volts, which is actually unusually low for an AGM battery. They usually are a bit higher, but the first thing we need to do is click enter. And now we have a couple of options. We can do battery test, a cranking test to see how much amperage this battery has. We have a charging test, which will tell us how the battery is charging and if the alternator is working on the car. Review data, language, about. But what we're gonna do is do the battery test for today's video. By clicking enter, it's gonna ask us for a bunch of information. We have regular flooded, we have AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel, EFB. Now you can see here, this is not your typical regular flooded battery. As you can see on the side here, it says AGM. So that gives us two other options, AGM flat plate and AGM spiral. Now, as you can see the shape of this battery, this is an AGM flat plate, it's square. An AGM spiral battery looks cylindrical and you can very easily differentiate the two as you can tell by the picture. So going up to AGM flat plate and clicking that, we now have a choice of selecting inputs. So briefly, I'm gonna show you where you can find that information on your battery. So as you can see on the battery, right over here, we have a bunch of information. We have 12 volts, 75 amp hours, 420 amp, DIN or 420A DIN. This is important information. We also have 800 amp EN, SAE, or GS. This is also very useful information. And you can either use the 420 DIN or the 800 amp EN, which is what we're gonna use first. And then maybe we can test for that. So now that we have our information, we're gonna scroll through the toggles until we find what we're looking for. Here's DIN. We're gonna use EN, which is right here. Now we're gonna plug in the correct amperage and you can change it by going up and down. We have 800, click enter, and now it's gonna run its test on the battery. And just like that, as you can see, the health of the battery is 24%. It's only holding 392 amps of 800 amps, which means you're not getting that much power out of it. And if this car was in the winter and not in the Florida heat, there's a good chance it wouldn't be able to draw the extra power, the extra amperage needed to turn over the engine. We also have a charge of 20%, which is low internal R and rated here. But as you can see, it says replace, which means it's time to replace this battery. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is clear some room because we're gonna have to take this bracket off. But the first thing we can do is actually remove some of these clips that they have on here, get these out of the way. And uh, now we can access the bolts that are on either side of this, and then we can remove this right here. Removing your Audi or Volkswagen battery is pretty straightforward. Usually there's a metal brace that goes around the battery itself, held in by two nuts, and a bracket at the bottom that needs to be unscrewed. Disconnect the negative and then the positive cables and check to make sure if you have a vent tube. If you do, you need to pull that out as well.
And as you can see, the battery's out and it's now time to go pick up a battery from your local auto parts store. As long as the information that's on the battery matches the battery that you're getting, like the cranking amps and stuff like that, you should be all set. So let me go pick that battery up right now. So check it out, here's the new battery. It's a Duracell Ultra and it is from Batteries Plus. If you have one of these places near you, highly recommend you pick this up. This is one of the best batteries on the market. I think it's DECA is the people that manufacture this. Duracell is who puts their name on it. But the cool part about this is it is identical to the Audi battery, same exact shape. We have the same ridge on the bottom, same ridge on the side, and even where we remove that positive battery terminal hub here. And it is a 12 volt AGM, 80 amp hour, 800 cold cranking amps, and a 140 reserve capacity, which is identical to the Audi battery that we took out. Now just do everything in reverse. Put the battery in, install the bracket, then the brace. Put the vent tube back in, and if your new battery, which it should, comes with a plug, make sure to put that in the other hole that the vent tube isn't in. This way you can direct the flow of the off gases if the battery was to do so. Lastly, connect your positive and then your negative, and all that's left now is to just code it. So the last step now is to code your car. You'll need one of these, an OBD11 device. They are a subscription service, but I will leave a link down in the description where you can pick up one of these. All you do is plug it into your OBD port here. Simple enough. Oh my God, the box is hanging off the heck. Plug it in right over there. Put your car in accessory mode, and now we'll head on over to the app and do the coding. So once you're in the app, you'll need to connect your device to the car. You'll have to access the battery control module by going to control units. Click gateway, then adaptation, and then battery adaptation. Once you're in here, it's time to enter the new battery info. We're gonna start with battery capacity, which in my case is 80 amp hours. Next is battery manufacturer, which isn't important, but feel free to change it and put the brand you installed. What's crucial is to change the battery serial number. This is the step that tells the car a new battery has been installed now you can make up a new number if the battery doesn't have one all the car wants is just a different one than the old one that's already programmed make sure you enter a 10 digit number now for me i'm just going to do all zeros and a one and then lastly we'll need to enter the battery type which tells the car how to charge the battery with this style battery it's a fleece agm and if it was a binary agm battery it should state it on the battery itself all that's left now is slide to write, which will successfully code the battery to the car. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments section below. Otherwise, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.